In the video today, I'm going to show you 10 of the best ways to use Google's Nano Banana. Let's get into the good stuff. One of the most requested things to do inside Nano Banana is to create consistent characters. Now, this is interesting because it basically means that you have a character you create and then you can consistently create them in other images as well. Great news, it's actually really easy to do. So let's show you how to do it now. So first off, we want to make sure we get the prompt correct. So this is the prompt that I'm going to add in, and here's the prompt formula below. A confident looking man named James holding a glass of martini, wearing a black three-piece suit, standing in a luxury bar with large windows behind him, with city skyscrapers visible. Nighttime, low light, photorealistic. Now that may sound like a lot, but don't worry, I've actually made a whole prompt guide for you guys showing you how to master prompting. And if you want to check that out, just have a look at the end of the video and I'll leave it there for you guys to watch. So now we've got the prompt, what we want to do is hit go and this is going to generate the image. And here's James. What a suave dude this guy is. James is the person that we need to recreate. So let's go ahead now and recreate more images of James consistently. So the next thing to do is let's put James on a beach, shall we? And let's have him sipping a cocktail instead of martini. So we're gonna go ahead and click go on that one. And this is gonna give us a result of James sitting on a beach. Now it's changed his attire, but James is still the same guy. He's just on a beach, as you can see, that's James. And here he is again. So the prompt that we're gonna use for this is add a woman named Anna with blonde hair sitting next to James. So now he's got company on that lovely beach and he's gonna be having a great time. And here we go. We have Anna sitting next to James in this beautiful beach setting. But let's not end there. Let's go one step further. And now let's put them on a boat. So let's add in this prompt here. Add James and Anna standing on a boat on the sea. And here we go. We have now got James and Anna standing on this beautiful boat with a beautiful backdrop of the ocean in the distance. So as you can see, it's actually been really easy to create consistent characters in Nano Banana. So my advice to you is if you want to do it, check out that prompt to start to generate. And then all you need to do is add things like add, replace, and use people's names. I find that this works very well for Nano Banana when it refers to a person in the image. It then generates the same person and you get consistent character results. Next up, let's have a look at how to add or replace skies. This is actually really simple to do, but it's something that is requested a lot. So let's go ahead and add an image of a lovely beach. Let's keep on the beach theme, I love beaches. And then when we've done that, let's add in the prompt. So the prompt is replace the sky with a sunset sky. Super simple, but we're using that action word there, replace, and hopefully it's gonna to understand to replace the sky. And here's the result. We've got this gorgeous sunset now. Everything else in the image is the same, but the sky has changed and it's also recolored the rest of the image, keeping everything looking natural. Let's take it one step further. Now let's turn it into a nighttime sky. So here's the prompt for that. Replace the sky with a night sky. And boom, we now have a night sky and everything has been recolored as it correctly should have for the nighttime. Now adding a background or replacing a background in Nano Banana is super simple and this is how we do it. So we wanna upload the image that we want to replace or change the background of choose it, and then we want to type in this prompt. So this prompt is replace the background with a catwalk. So we're replacing the background in the image and we're gonna replace it with a catwalk. And here's the result. Now, that woman actually looks like she was made for a catwalk. So that has done a brilliant job. You can see the background is a catwalk. You've got the audience, everything works. Nano Banana excels at product photos. I want you to take a look at this. So we've got this bottle of yellow Prime and we're gonna create a scene where someone is holding the bottle of Prime as their hand is bursting out the ground out of the mud and it creates this really awesome kind of jungle scene. Go ahead and use that prompt formula that I used at the beginning of the video. This is the same prompt formula which will serve you well for this font. So. We've gone ahead and pressed go with this prompt. Let's have a look at the result. 
So you can see here that we've got this bottle of Prime being held by this hand and it's bursting out the ground. It's got mud all around it. You've got this beautiful sunset in the background. It looks awesome and all the text is perfect. One of my absolute favorite things to do with Nano Banana is to create a start and an end image. So this is for the start and end frame. So what this means is you can create an image at the start and then you can create a video from that start image and then end it with the end image. And you create this whole story in between. It's a really great way of using Nano Banana. And then you have to use another app which can really bring this to life. So the first image that I have generated is a picture of an angry looking man and I've created a blurred background so all the focus is on him close up. Next up, I'm going to create the same man, but with the Incredible Hulk's face. And the whole idea here is to actually animate this into a video so it looks like the man is transforming into the Hulk. And you're going to see this looks absolutely awesome. So what I do is I come into Higgsfield now, which is probably my favorite AI software. And Higgsfield, by the way, if you don't know what it is, it offers you pretty much all of the AI tools in one place. So under the image tab, you have unlimited use of Nano Banana. You have Flux Context and you have Topaz as well, which is something I use to upscale the images so they look incredible quality, a lot bigger. Then you've got the video options. So you've got Google VO3, you've got a lot of use of that and you've got Kling 2.1 as well. And that's something we're gonna use to create this start and end frame. So we click on start frame here and then we actually put in that first image which we've created which is of that man looking quite frustrated and angry then we slip in that second image which is of the incredible hulk's face and then we have to add this prompt in to tell it that we want to animate it into this scene so here's the prompt that we're going to use to really bring this to life pause this here and check it out if you want to and now what we want to go ahead and do is choose the options for this video generation here are the options below. We want to use Kling 2.1, this model, and then we want to choose a 10 second video animation. And let's go ahead and press generate. And here's the result. So here's the man. And here you can see transforming into the Incredible Hulk. And that is a seamless transformation. And it looks really good. Now you can also add audio into this as well, so you can really bring your clips to life. But this is just something really cool I wanted to share with you. Remember, create your images in Nano Banana, and then from there, use Higgsfield. I'll put a link actually in the description if you want to check that out. They currently have unlimited use on Kling 2.1, so if that's something you want to get, go ahead and check that deal out now. Now, next up, we have Sketch to Photo. This is brilliant. You can turn this house right here into a photo. So I'm going to upload the image of this sketch. And when I've done that, I'm simply just going to add in my prompt, which is change the sketch into a realistic photo. Really nice and simple. And now let's have a look. Here you go. So we've now got this house right here and it's actually taken the sketch. I always love this. And it's actually turned it into the house and it's got all of the details pretty much exactly the same. But there is one issue. We've got this kind of weird white, this weird area here on the side. We want to fix that. So let's just add in a side street to the left hand side and then press generate. And then let's come down and have a look at the image. And there we go. We've now got a side street and that has replaced this blue area, which was looking a bit strange. One of the smallest prompts that you can use inside this software is to restore a photo. And it literally works with restore the photo. So look at this image here. You can see this image is absolutely battered. It's in terrible condition. And what we're going to do is we're going to say restore the image. That simple. Click go and look what an amazing job it does at restoring the image. We now have this absolutely flawless photo. Now this is something that would have took hours on Photoshop and now you can do it here in seconds. A really cool feature that you can do here is to actually add designs to objects. Now this means that you can add patterns and all kinds of things to furniture. In this case, we're gonna take this pattern and add it to the sofa. All you need to do, upload the images straight into Google Banana and then just prompt it here to add the pattern to the chair. And this is the result. Look at the chair. So the chair absolutely is the same chair, but we've got this pattern which has replaced all of the red. 
This is really simple to do. You can create some awesome mock-ups and designs. You should definitely check this out. Finally, probably another one of my favorite things to do is to create a magazine cover. You can have so much fun and so many laughs doing this inside um, Google Nano Banana. All you have to do is upload a picture of a person or a thing that you want to add in. And then you just want to add in the prompt, create a magazine cover with this person or something similar to that. Hit go and it will do exactly that. So here's a picture of me looking unsure or whatever I'm doing there. And also I'm in a magazine cover. That is me. Oh, it almost brings back nostalgia from being a child and dreaming of being in some kind of magazine and superhero like this. But there is one problem. I am missing some kind of cape. So let's change that. So let's add the man to a Marvel magazine cover uh, and then add me as a superhero instead because I don't look like much of a superhero there. And then this is the result. And look at that. Not only have I lost weight, but also I'm like the coolest version of Iron Man without the helmet you have ever seen. Now, finally, the last thing we're going to look at is how to change the poses of people in photos. Yes, you can change their pose to make them stand and sit in different ways. And once again, with Nano Banana, it's easy. So what we have to do here is we have to get two images. So the first image I'm going to choose is of this woman. And then I'm going to choose an image of a sketch, just a sketch, in a pose. I'm going to combine these together. I'm going to upload them and combine them together. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to tell Google Nano Banana to actually change the pose of the woman to match that pose right there. So this is the prompt that we're going to use. Change the lady's pose to match the sitting pose and go. And voila. Look at that. That's the exactly same as this drawing. She's sitting in the same posture. And all I did was add in this image of a pencil drawing and Google Nano Banana knew what to do. I absolutely love this. You can do this with any pose. So I could do it with a different pose here if I wanted to of her looking like she's ready to box. The possibilities are endless. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video today and I hope you can actually start using some of these in your own workflow. Just have fun with them. Spend some time on Nano Banana. Try some of these. Try your own. Let me know what you've come out with. Leave that in the comments. I'd love to know your ideas for different things. And if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. That would mean a lot to me. I really am looking forward to making the next video on this software. It's been great to use this over the last two weeks and then share this with you. So the next video is going to be coming in the next three days. Make sure you check that out. And the best way to do that is to hit subscribe. Guys, whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.